couple of days overdue update of my 12 Doctors of Christmas project pan. There are a few other people who are doing it with me who I will link down below so that you can go and check them out as well. Uh, some people are doing it on Instagram, some people are doing it on YouTube like I am. I will also link the Google Play, uh, the Google document down below that has the different categories that we came up with. There are 50 of them. Um, we picked 12 to start off with. This is running until December 25th, um, or whenever you get your last update done, really. Um, so I'm just going to go through the 12 products that I started with. I haven't actually finished anything, but that wasn't really the point. You know, it's more to like explore my collection. I'm also adding in two new products because I can more than anything. So um, the first one was the Moisturize Me one which I picked the Astralis makeup spritz. Um, I have made some progress on this one. What happened to my cups? Oh. I love it when things go missing. tiny bit of progress on this one. I haven't actually worn a lot of makeup because I've been sick and everyone in my house has been sick. And so, um, yeah, so that's where we are. I really like this, except I think they've changed the sprayer on this because before it was like a really nice fine mist and this one seems to be more of a um, split rather than a... It's like the particles are bigger or something. I don't know. It's weird. But it still works the same. So <laughs> uh, the second one was the uh, was for Donna Noble, and I picked the Girly Cosmetics in Firecracker Red, which is actually more orange than red. The worry today underneath the other lip product that is in this challenge, um, I hadn't actually measured it, so and I haven't really used it enough to make any move. Uh, Next was a unit, and uh, I picked this MAC, it's actually a trio, it was a quad, now it's a trio. Um, we have a little bit, there's a little bit of damage in this, but anyway. Um, again, almost impossible to tell. I've actually used all of these at least a couple of times through more. Um, this one I've been using quite a bit in the crease, and this one here as well. I did a look where I put this on the eyelid, and the only thing I found is that that one is a little bit on the warm side, and I prefer cooler eyeshadows rather than warmer eyeshadows. So I wasn't 100% happy with the look because it just didn't quite feel right. But maybe that's because I just don't do it very often. So yeah, not really progress to show, but I know I've used it, and I've had fun using it, which is, you know, what the point is. Then we have the, uh, we had Sonic, which I picked the Rimmel Eye Scandalize eyeshadow stick in Tempting Turquoise, which is this fabulous bright blue. I've used it under the eye. The light today is just doesn't like me. Um, I've used this under the eye. I've used it as an eyeshadow base. It's fun because it's like so bright and it's it's a bit different and we're actually coming, we're in spring now in Australia so we're coming into summer and really bright colours in summer always works but then I wear bright colours anytime so. Um, then we had Celery um, which I picked this cargo eyeshadow in Green Bay. Again this is one of those ones that take forever to actually see any real note difference, discernible difference. But I have used it quite a few times. Used it on the eyelid quite a few times. It's uh, it's a nice enough colour. I'll just give you a little. Uh, it's kind of like greeny gold. That's nice. I like it. I don't use it all the time. I have so many products on the go, but I don't know. Kind of enjoying it. Then we had Gallifrey, which I picked the Mineralized Skin Finish in uh, Stereo Rose. 
this is basically more of a blush kind of shade on me than anything else because it's quite um, I mean, I certainly wouldn't be able to use it as uh, a finishing kind of powder or um, highlighter or anything like that. Uh, yeah, very much more of a blush shade. I've used it a couple of times. I think I used it as a blush topper a couple of times. Uh, next, we have the So Susan Lip Dome in Black Current. I've worn this a few times. Again, you can't you can't tell the difference. Um, this is a lot more pigmented than I expected. Um, it's actually what I'm wearing over the top of Firecracker Red. Last time I wore it around the other way. So, yeah. um, that's it there. I was expecting it to be a lot more balmy, and it's not. It's quite stiff, and it's got quite a bit of colour to it. Which I don't mind, it just wasn't what I was expecting. And then we had Sarah Jane, which I picked the L'Oreal... Um, clear lip liner. This one actually I sharpened, which means you know I've used it enough to sharpen it. It's kind of hard to tell that it's there because it's clear. I think it's doing its job. <laughs> uh, then we had the Favourite Doctor, which for me is number nine. So I had picked the NYX Purple Mascara. I'm wearing it today. You can't tell. It doesn't look purple on my lashes. Maybe if I had a white primer, which I don't. Um, I think I said that last time. Um, but yeah, this is, I've used it, I pretty much, it's what I've been wearing on my bottom lashes. It's either that one or the CoverGirl Exact Lights in um, Black Sapphire, which is kind of like a grey tone. Um, then we had the Oud, which I picked the Rimmel uh, Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in in the nude because it rhymes with oud and it's a similar colour to the oud it's just a nude eyeliner which I wear of course in my waterline the lower waterline next we had the ice warriors which I picked the NYX diamond lust um, single eyeshadow Again, I've used it a couple of times, mainly as um, an inner corner highlight um, and a bit of a brow bone highlight. It's, it's, it's fun enough. And lastly, we had Time Lord, which I picked the Oil of Aloe Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream. Um, this has had this was fairly full when we started. It's had quite a bit of progress in it. I've actually stopped using it for a few days because I'm trying to use up a couple of samples I've got. You can see the packaging. So we are getting somewhere with that. Then on to the other two products I added in. I used the random number generator app on my phone um, and excluded the ones that I'd already picked and picked two new numbers. And the two numbers I got were 31, which is K9, and 28, which is Hello Sexy, which is a reference to what the Doctor calls the TARDIS. Um, there's an episode where she becomes Idris and he calls her sexy and... Yeah, there's a whole thing there. <laughs> so, um, for K9, I picked the L'Oreal Infallible Eye... What do they call these? Eye somethings. Eyeshadow things, eyeshadow pigments in Flashback Silver. Um, because K9 is kind of silver. And he's a bit of a flashback to old Doctor Who. So that's what it looks like. This is not one of those products you're going to see a lot of progress in. Because it is a... Just dunk my fingernail into it. This actually has a purple undertone. Right there. Um, yeah, it has this kind of purpley undertone to it, which I really like. So that's that one. And the one that I picked for Hello Sexy is, I more wanted to try it out so I can decide whether or not I should just ditch it or not, because it's not 
it's not my favourite and it was something that I got in a subscription box and it's a bit on the gimmicky side quite frankly so that is the Monomolo Wow long lasting long lasting lip colour and this is in sexy red this is one of those ones, it actually comes off more orange quite honestly um, this is one of those ones that you put it on and you let it dry and then you like peel off the thing and you get left with a stain on your lips um, it's kind of messy and the the color of this when it comes out and the way that it looks um, would probably be great if I didn't want staining all over my face as blood for Halloween it's got that kind of bloody look to it and uh, yeah basically it leaves um, a kind of orange stain on my lips which is I don't have a problem with that I don't mind orange lipstick um, yeah, but I thought I'll, I'll give it a try a couple of times, even if I'm just at home. Um, and if I really don't like it, then I will probably de-stash it. So that is my update for the 12 Doctors of Christmas Project Pan. Don't forget to check out the others that are involved in it, all of whom will be linked down below. If you'd like to subscribe, click the subscribe button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notifications of when I upload. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos and Doctor Who. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.